Hello there, today I have a little bit of a plant haul. Three plants that I actually got uh, about a week ago, they're already potted up. And then I have four plants that I just picked up today. I thought I'd show you them all and show you kind of what's new in the collection. <clears throat> so I'll start with the ones I got last week that are already potted up and get those out of the way. So this one is one of the cactuses I picked up. It's called a Ming Thing Cactus or a Sirius for Bessie Monstros. Um, I'm sure that pronunciation is wrong. This is really neat. It's kind of like a clump cactus. I thought it would be really cool if I could ever get this big enough and cut a section off to maybe propagate another one. It might be a little hard because you can see they're, they're not like regular cactuses where they have um, long arms where I can really cut them off. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool looking cactus and I thought it would uh, look good in my collection. Alright. Next I have this. It's called a thimble cactus. You see these a lot. Um, with nice, clean, almost flat um, spikes, I guess you'd call them. Yeah. <laughs> um, its actual name is Mammillaria gracilis. Gracilis? Yeah. Um, pronunciation, uh, again, is just going to be off on all of these. I'm sorry. But I thought it was a pretty interesting little, little cactus. It has been growing this way towards the sun. I'm going to have to turn it around for the next couple days. In, inside of the pots for all three of these that I repotted up already, I have just a uh, regular cactus soil and then I topped it off with some pea gravel. Slightly for show and the other half kind of for um, stability. And then the last one I got um, the other week is this. It's called the Gymnocalyceum Mahanavici. I'm sorry, guys. Um, really interesting little cactus. It's got these really nice color, deep, deep green down the center, and then um, lighter greens on the side. It does have a little bit of uh, some burning, or maybe that was some rot that it came with, but I wasn't too worried about that. The reason I got this the is because this beautiful flower is actually just a small little flower bud um, right off the top when I got it and it was just starting to show and just in the past week it's done this huge amount of growth and the flowers opening up and it's just absolutely beautiful it's this light white and a little bit of like a reddish pink it, it's really really interesting I'm hoping that stays flowering for a while. I, it looks like I've got a couple other buds in there. Uh, I'm not sure how often these cactuses flower. I really, a lot of my cactuses don't flower that often, so it's interesting to have one in my collection that is flowering right now. Now onto the plants that I had bought just today. Two of them are in the um, Primulina, prim, Primulina? Uh, family that's like the African violets and the Asian violets and this one is actually a frosted jade Asian violet I really like these guys the leaves have this really nice variegation to them light light green and then dark green patterns to the leaves there's a couple dead ones that I'll go ahead and remove um, but for the most part it looks like a really really healthy plant and there might be even two or three in there that I'll be able to separate out. So once again, it's a frosted jade Asian violet. And I'll be repotting this as well. My second one in the Primulina family, I'm sorry, I'll get it eventually, is uh, this, um, it's a, it says Loki Shalit, or Shalit. Um, in the Corita hybrid. So it's in the Primulina family. That's all I need to know. It's related to like the Asian violets and the African violets, so it'll be similar care. So I'll be able to take care of it even if I can't pronounce it. But once again, these leaves are just absolutely beautiful. And it's a nice big 
plant, a good starter plant. I think I got these small ones for about $3.99 each. Um, these look amazing, and it'll be getting potted up as well out of these smaller pots and into something a little bit bigger, and I'll give it some African Violet mix. Anything in the Primulina family will be able to use that African Violet mix that I use um, all the time. So now I got a succulent, and it's called a, um, it's called Ox Tongue, or Gesteria Bicolor Lipitana, Lipitana? It's a really, really interesting succulent, um, known as Ox Tongue, I guess. That's its common name, but it's really interesting. I like how it grows out. It almost reminds me of how orchid leaves grow out, how they kind of alternate, um, side at a time. And it is just a very, very interesting look looking little succulent, and I wanted it for my collection. I don't know if these guys flower. That could be really interesting. It doesn't say, but I'll, I'll look that up and see if there's any flowers to these guys. All right, and then the last plant I went ahead and got, I've wanted these for a while. I just haven't seen them in my area. And I'm not too happy about um, ordering these online because they fall apart so easy. It's the um, String of Pearls. These, these are really interesting. And it's actually a very, very healthy one. Um, the most healthy one I found in this area. Usually, by the time they get to the stores, they're kind of... They're hurting a little bit and they're, they need a lot extra care. So this one will help me, right off the bat, get a nice plant out of it. So that is all of the plants that I've gotten. I'll do a quick little view down. So this is the plant haul in entirety. You got the cactuses and the Asian violets, and then you have these um, the Loki, and you also have the succulent over here, that ox tongue, the mingling, the um, thimble cactus, and the string of pearls. So thank you for watching. That's the end of this video. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to repot these four right here. And stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy planting, guys.